Maybelline decide that they want to go after a bitter man to get their products going. Let's go ahead and check it out. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? I'm sure you've seen this video on Lids of TikTok. Let's check it out. And ready to ship. My Amazon order arrived the next day, and here I am filming a makeup review. And baby, check out this color and shine. It's so comfortable, and it will not budge or smudge for up to 16 hours. Let me know what you think, and shop Maybelline Prime Deals for 30% off right now. It's Prime Day on Amazon. I bet you're wondering right now, who is this? You know, like that Michael Jackson song, who is it? Listen, <laughs> I have to do some digging. So I went to Maybelline's website, right? And actually shout out to Tim Burton because he had this on his YouTube channel, which actually helped me figure it out. So Maybelline actually put this up on their Instagram. Same video, same guy. And the hashtag Maybelline partner was put in there by them. This is their actual Instagram. It's not like somebody saying, oh, this is them secretly do. No, no, this is an actual thing. So I went digging even deeper. Okay, I'm like, so who is this guy? Went to the Instagram, only had 49,000 followers. I'm like, that's not that much. So why would they go to somebody who only had 49,000 followers? So I go to their YouTube. YouTube does not have that many followers. 2.11 2 followers. Why did I say 2.11? <laughs> 2,111 followers they had on their YouTube. So I'm like, why would you go after a person like that? And then I went to their TikTok and I found this guy. His name is Ryan Vita. And he has 1.2 million followers. Now, just because you have that many followers on TikTok, please know that that does not mean you have that many people engaging. I went to quite a bit of these posts. If you're in the market, not for a, a new ton primer, of comments. Cool. So look, this video right here has four comments. Go to Ulta, grab this one. It's the ColourPop primer. I think it's the only one they have. And this is the new Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. I'm using it as a foundation and honestly, totally flawless. And okay, let me talk about this. So this is the new one size setting powder in the new color something. So, and here's the YouTube channel, by the way, Ryan Vita, right? That's why I saw that, you know, that, that they didn't have that many. And most of their content is shorts. That just goes to show you sometimes that TikTok doesn't always convert over to YouTube very well. And even here, the okay. engagement's not super high. Huh? What you looking at? Only two, looking at Maybelline two comments. Lipsticks, new stuff. Anyways. Oh. Okay. So here's so him teasing. Here's him teasing this whole promo. This, like, everybody loves these. this is Maybelline. Uh, thing about Reviver. Okay, this looks like a certain kind of dupe. Oh, it's to be videos. So it is not that uncommon for this guy to get on here and talk so about certain products. So I got the products. new Huda Beauty Faux Filter Color Corrector, and I just happen to have some bruising underneath my eyes that I would like to cover, but have not been successful at covering at all. I want to so say this, by the way. I looked at a lot of this guy's video. This is the only video I've seen that he ever mentioned having bruising under his eyes. And by the way, this person is trans. If you're asking yourself, is this just a bearded man who puts on makeup? No! This person goes by a she, he, and they. Okay? So this person just mixes up. This person is married. This person is married to a, um, a, a guy. And so... I got the new Barbie phone from NYX Cosmetics, and it has some very advanced features that I think you should know about. Just kidding, it's just a mirror, so let's talk about makeup. The new Barbie collection from NYX Cosmetics includes... Uh, you know... <laughs> You know what? I'll give him that products, one. That one was funny. Products, eyeshadows, and um, I feel like, oh, oh, the phone. The face palette includes a blush. Now, blush. we've seen enough. We've seen enough. So what's your question? Why would they go after a bearded man? Why are they going into women's spaces? Why are they doing all this kind of stuff? Number one, Maybelline is not new with doing this. I did a little ba uh, backtracking. Maybelline does this with drag queens. They, do, they tend to uh, do their products for people who are drag queens, too. They've always been, well, maybe not always, but here recently, they've at least been part of the LGBTQ F A T S A uh, two S three point one four eighty five. I believe is the whole thing now. Um, when it comes to them, they've been doing this kind of stuff with the LGBTQ, so it's not surprising that they would do this with Maybelline. This is not a Bud Light thing. I always have to bring up Bud Light now. We have to. It's just weird. But no, this is not a Bud Light thing. They've been doing this. Makeup is a completely different world than obviously beer. Okay, so let's talk about that. Do I have a problem with the video or them promoting a guy? Listen, men do wear makeup, okay? Some men wear makeup. Men wear, when I was in high school, I wore makeup for, you know, like musicals and stuff like that. Hated it, but it happens. When you see people on live TV, guess what? They do wear makeup. Not this far, obviously, pink nails and lipstick because this man is trans and most of the men aren't. Um, but just saying, like, makeup is, in general, is okay. But what did I think about this individual? I think this person is coming more off like a man who wants to be a woman. Okay? 
it's a lot different when you're trying to promote to men to be like, hey, here's a little makeup if you want to just fix your blemishes while you're making videos. That's how you would market to men. You know, I was watching the another YouTuber who was talking about there is a market for men who wear makeup. Yes, there is, but not to this degree, in my opinion. I don't see men wearing makeup to this degree Bronzer unless unless they are trans. If you wanted market to men and have a different market cap, you would be like, hey, men, look, hey, do you make videos? Are you a creator? Just use a little bit of makeup. It just helps with the little images. It, hel it helps with the lighting. It just helps give you an overall better present. That I can understand. I'd be like, hey, do you want to work on your skincare? Wouldn't touch these products for skincare. But hey, do what you want. But that's how you would market to men. This is not marketing to men because most men don't wear makeup like that. You are marketing specifically to trans men. So that's a completely different thing. So I would disagree with that YouTuber saying that this is the marketing to men and there's a market for it. No, no, no. There's a market to trans women, right? These men who want to be women. That's a completely different market cap. And to me, honestly, is that going to sell you? Is that going to get you a lot of money? I, no, you have a way better chance just marketing to women. It just makes more sense. I think if you're going to do this, Maybelline, and you continue to go down this route, I say just market to the women. And then men will just watch the women and put on the makeup themselves because that's how we go. We just make more sense because when you do this kind of stuff and some women feel alienated, you're, you're really alienating your main component. I understand of always trying to expand your business and I could be completely wrong about this. I don't own Maybelline. I don't own a company. But when you're trying to expand to a whole new horizon, like we all have to do in YouTube and Twitter and uh, all these spaces, we all have to try to get to these younger kids right that watch videos for a lot shorter content so we all have to try to conform ourselves to shorts and stuff like that it's a difficult thing i get that but even me who makes long form content eventually one day i'm gonna have to push into the, push into these shorts but to me i don't ever want to market to children right now until i absolutely um kind of have to push into that route but with maybelline i just don't feel like you ever need to push them in i don't feel like that would ever be your main i think if you never push them in i think the company will be super successful regardless it just doesn't make sense last thing i'll say man listen when i make videos if y'all notice my demographic is my biggest demographic if believe it or not is 35 to 44 so I should always try to accommodate them first before I'm like, oh, let me go try to get the 13 year olds. And I, I will never do that. I don't, <laughs> I don't make content for children. That's just not who I am. I'm not trying to get to them or anything like that. I like having an older demographic, but at the same time, you know, you got to do what you got to do, but I should focus on my demographic first All and then work my way down. Don't you dare talk when I talk. Okay. This is my show. I do what I want because it is my turn. Sorry. Anyway, guys, that's all I got to say on this whole thing. Let me know what y'all think about this guy. Should you market to men? Should you market to trans women? I would say both. I would say no on both. That's just me, though. Bye.